Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we have the continuation of the confession from Mr. John who had to experience what no parent wishes to experience around his or her child. Mr. John tells us about how his only daughter died and what he did afterwards. Why he sent us this message is not for us to judge him or anyone involved, but then, according to him, he wants the new generation, especially the ladies, to learn from what happened to his daughter. As part of our policy, I've edited the names to hide the identity. If you have any experience that you would love to share with us, please don't hesitate to contact our admin through the email address. I have a confession 1010 at gmail.com. Without wasting much of your time, let's go and listen to the story. One day, I was at home in the evening when Naomi called me. Her voice was shaking. I asked her the problem and she told me that she cannot say anything on phone to me. She pleaded that I come to Accra the next day to see something. So, early in the morning I was on my way to Accra. I got to where they live and I was shocked of what I saw. Before I go ahead with it, apparently, Bata has been having water coming out of her private part. So, they thought it was some infection which they went for drugs at the pharmacy. But then, they said, it kept flowing and it became intense. So, they went to the hospital to check. The doctor checked her and told her, there is nothing wrong with her but then asked her to stop the drugs she was taking and gave her some drugs to be taken. But then, two days after they went to the doctor, she started seeing these white small animals like worms coming out of her private part. So, on the fifth day, that Naomi asked Bata to call me but she refused. Naomi sneaked out that evening to call me to come the next day. My only daughter, someone who could tell me everything in her life, is now hiding this thing from me. I started asking her what I did wrong for her to be behaving this way towards me. But all this while, she never spoke a word to me. She was just looking at me, whilst I was talking to her. I asked Naomi to pack some of her things so that I can take her back home. Naomi said she will follow us. So, we returned to Volta that evening. When we got home, I called Naomi out and started asking her to tell me if she knows anything that butter might be hiding. She said, the butter that she knew, was no more the butter now. She said that, butter does not tell her anything with regards to her life again. This was strange. She said that, the only thing she know about and know for sure that I don't know is the boyfriend that Butter now has. So, in the morning, I went and did my consultation. This consultation, I went to a traditional healer. He threw the offer and revealed to me what was going on with my daughter. He told me that, someone has gifted my daughter something huge. And the person has used the gift to exchange the life of my daughter. I wanted to find out who the person was. But then, he said my daughter needs to tell me some things herself. He went on to tell me that, if I don't rush in trying to save my daughter, and find out what was done from her, so we can reverse it, she will never make it. I returned home furious. This time, I was ready to push to the bottom of the issue. I called Naomi in the presence of Bata and told them what the traditional healer had told me earlier when I visited him. It was at this point after I told them what the man told me, that I saw my daughter crying. She held my hand. She told me to forgive her. I didn't understand what she meant by I should forgive her. So, I asked what she has done. She said she's hidden something from us. Because, to her I might not be in support of her decision or choice. I asked her what she was talking about. She said that, she met a young man who she said told her he was in his early thirties. He proposed to her and she accepted him. Then when the guy learned that, she was always talking to me and asking for explanation to things. The guy said is either she chooses to be with him and stop the regular calls with me or continues with our calling and lose him. But then she said, she had developed feelings towards the guy and didn't want to lose him. So, she decided to stop our calling in such a way that, she will not lose the guy. I told her, this is not any issue. For I even agreed to not calling you like we used to. So, his one cannot be the cause of the issue. She said yes, if the man I went to see, says it is as a result of the gift I received from the person, that I am experiencing this. 
Then, it is my boyfriend who gave me a gift. I asked her what and where the gift is so I can take it to the traditional healer in order to reverse whatever has been done. She gave me her phone. She said it was the latest iPhone. I wanted to ask if this was the only gift but, she continued to say that, the guy took her to an estate agency and paid for an apartment for her. All the papers were done in her name. Naomi then asked her, what about the Toyota Camry in-house? Apparently, Bertha brought a car to the house and told her friend that it was for her boyfriend, who has agreed that she should use the car for some time. But then, the car was actually bought in Bertha's name. So, in about three to four months of meeting the guy, he has bought her an apartment, a car and an iPhone 14. I asked why she kept everything from us. Even if she didn't want to tell me, why couldn't she tell Naomi her friend? She said that, her boyfriend asked her to keep it a secret till he will he the boy will be ready to meet me the father. So that, they will present the properties to me. So, the guy made Bata to think that, it was meant to be a surprise to me and her friend Naomi. I took her to the traditional healer for him to help us. Now that she has been able to tell us. We got there and he called me away from my daughters. He told me that, it is too late for him to bring her soul back. No matter how hard we try, she can't survive it. He told me that, I was just watching or having experience with my daughter for the last time. Because, she will not leave to see the next morning. I told myself that, I won't do anything for my daughter to suspect anything. I returned to them smiling. I told them he said he will finish the necessary rituals in the night, so we should start going. That evening, I couldn't sleep. I was awake throughout. I didn't want to wake up to see her dead. If she was going to die, I wanted to be by her side. Truly, it was about 2 a.m. at dawn, when my daughter Bata gave up her last breath. Before she died, Naomi was sleeping at this time, even though she was just close to us. Bata asked me to forgive her. I told her I don't hold anything against her. Her eyes were filled with tears. I asked her why, and she said, she has seen a woman who is in tears welcoming her. She held onto my hand tightly, as she kept telling me not to leave her. I could feel her getting warm and sweating at the same time. In about five minutes or so, my daughter was gone. I pulled the cloth and covered her body. I woke Naomi up and told her what had happened. I had to control her. Because I didn't know what was going to happen to her. I called my wife's family members and we deposited the body at the mortuary. The next day, I went to the traditional healer to inform him about the situation. He told me that, the person that did this act, has been told exactly where my daughter was supposed to be buried by the person, whom he went to do the rituals. So, he will be coming to the cemetery to collect some of the sand from her grave. This he said was to seal the sacrifice that he has done. He told me to convince the family so that she will not be buried there if only I want to avenge her death. So, I explained everything to Naomi and asked her to also tell the family that, indeed she was there when her friend told me not to bury her at the place they wanted to bury her. The family agreed to what we told them and allowed me to bury my daughter in my house. I did this because I didn't want the person responsible for her death to go scot-free. Because the traditional healer said that, if he is not able to find her grave at that particular cemetery at the time he will be told to do that ritual, he will go mad. I didn't want him to live and enjoy whatever sacrifice he has used my daughter for. Even though I am not proud of killing or causing anybody harm, I was ready at time moment to tear anyone into pieces if I got to know you know something about my daughter's death. This is the pain I had to go through, to watch my daughter die right in front of me. Because of a life that I don't know where he got it from. This was a daughter who would tell me everything about her. Now because she decided to follow somebody's instructions, she is no more. Please do share my pain with your followers and let the young ones out there learn something from it. I really appreciate your time. Thank you and God bless you for the work you are doing. Please kindly subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. 
That's why we share these stories with you. I do pray that we learn from some of these stories and live a better life. Now, as people, we can read from the Holy Scriptures where it tells us to honor our parents for, we shall live long if we do so. Had better honor her father and confided in him like she used to do, maybe, he might be alive. Like I said, desperations make man do certain things, so, I don't want to tackle the approach Mr. John took in trying to save his daughter. But I leave it to our followers. As the saying goes, all that glitters is not gold. We should be content with what we have and strive to make it through a decent means. Get a job as a lady, work and make sure on your own, you build a life that you can be proud of. Look at this, this man had to see his only daughter go through this pain before she passed on. The trauma that he will be going through. I can only imagine. Please as young girls and guys, let us see the value of life and live according to the principles that govern us as Africans. As I always say, we are not here to race with ourselves. Therefore, do the little you can and ask your Creator to bless your handwork. Please let's be mindful of the choices that we make. Kindly share your thought with us in the comment section below. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share. See you again in the part 2 of this video. Stay blessed and be safe.